Righto. Well, today on the Linux Lounge, we have something quite interesting to take a look at. We're going to be looking at Onion Share. Now, what Onion Share is, is it's a way to privately and anonymously send files over the internet without the use of some middleman like Google Drive or whatever. And we're going to be taking a look at it right now on the Linux Lounge. Righto. Well, as I said during the opening, today we're going to be taking a look at Onion Share. Now, Onion Share is, as many of you may have guessed if you're familiar with the Tor Relay, a program that shares files using the Tor Relay. So essentially, this gives you a lot of privacy and anonymity, as well as being really secure and convenient. Now, the way that this works is you drag and drop a file in here, send someone a link to a page, and they can go ahead and download the file straight from you. So the gist of it is, it's incredibly private because it uses Tor, but it's also incredibly private because it cuts out the middleman of Google Drive or whatever other sharing service you want to use to get your files from point A to point B. Now, obviously, the potential for exploitation here is massive. So what I'm going to say is, please do not use this for anything illegal, and probably don't use it for anything that you wouldn't show your grandmother either. If you do that, that is why we can't have nice things. But if you, you know, there are plenty of legitimate uses as well. Like, for instance, if you've got sensitive files that you have to send over the internet, you're probably not going to want to do it through Google Drive or whatever else. See this as being quite a good option. But I can also see it as being a good option for general file sharing because it's, well, it's very convenient. And we'll get on to just how convenient it is later. Although there are also some caveats that I will show you later. So first, let's demonstrate how this works. So let's get a file, let's, very important file that we wouldn't want to lose, we wouldn't want anyone messing with it, and we certainly wouldn't want anyone to see this because it would absolutely ruin our pride. Wouldn't it be a shame if I was showing this over the internet right now? So let's go ahead and share this file. So we simply drag and drop it into Onion Share, and we hit Start Searching. It's that simple, and it'll give us a list of all the files and stuff, and it will then go ahead and start it. Now, while that's doing its thing, I'll go ahead and tell you something. This is very easy to get a hold of. I'm running Debian at the moment, and this program was actually in the default Debian repositories. Now, it's a more mature version of the Debian repositories, but it still works absolutely fine, and it pretty much works like the newer versions do, too. I did also try this on Arch, and I got a much newer version, which seemed to be quicker. But there wasn't much difference in it, so I'm going to demonstrate the version that I got from the Debian repositories. So as you can see, it's gone ahead and copied the Onion Share address, and we get an, like a nice little notification about that. So we can go ahead and just copy address, and as you can see, it's a Onion domain. And this is where you would want to send this link to someone. And what they will do is go ahead and open up the Tor browser, so they don't even need to have Onion Share installed. All they need is the Tor browser. Paste it in, hit enter, and it will go ahead and load up our page. And as you can see, we've got a very simple web page which will let us go ahead and download our files. Now, the caveat to that is obviously the person on the other end needs to have the Tor browser, which not everyone will, but that's not a huge caveat. So if we go ahead and hit download files, we can download the file. And let's just go ahead and save it, and it'll give it to us as a Onion Share file. So for simplicity's sake, I'm just going to go ahead and save this in my home folder, so then we can easily retrieve it. And as you might have seen, we also got a notification when the download started and when it finished. So if we go back into Onion Share now, as you can see, it sent the file and it stopped sharing, which very nice. If you share the file, you can just leave it running and it'll shut itself off. Now. On the topic of downloading and sharing files, the only caveat to this program that I can find is it's very, very slow, which is to be expected because it uses Tor, which is in itself quite slow. Now, you can't see it because of how small this file was, but generally speaking, I find that you get about 100 kilobytes a second, which for smaller files and documents, no problem whatsoever. But if you want to send someone like larger files, then you might have an issue. But, of course, I don't really imagine that people are using this to send huge files. Like, maybe you're using it to send, like, sensitive documents, maybe family photos that you don't necessarily want to put on Google Drive, that, that sort of thing.
but it does very much work and I have tried this out with another person to send them to Martin Ends and it seemed to work fine. And I know that this program is also quite well received among sort of, you know, privacy activists and such. So if we go into our home folder and we go ahead and extract this, I will just go ahead and quickly show you that yes, in fact, we do have our very, very important file that we wouldn't want to lose, wouldn't want anyone else to see. There it is in all of its glory. So let's go ahead and close out of that and pretty much all I've got to say about Onion Chat. All, it's a really nice program if you need to securely and anonymously send files. Don't exploit it, but if you want to use it, it's a pretty nice program. And certainly I think it's worth using for, you know, more sensitive data transfers and stuff. But with that said, that's it for today's video. I'll see you in the next one, and I thank you for watching.